very exciting typewriter for you today. This is called a Corona 3 and it is from 1919. And this is actually the first time I've done a video for one of these. We, we have sold them in the past. We don't get them very often, um, but I've never done a video for them because honestly, we have not been able to get them to work. But this one works. And I'm gonna show you around um, how to use a Corona 3 and then do a typing demo for this particular one, which is currently available on our shop at the time of this recording. But if you're just wanting to know how to use a Corona 3 because you have one, then you will find this video helpful. So they are folding typewriters. And if you have one or you get this one, it comes in a little case and then you just lift it out of the case and it'll be, it'll look like this. And so don't panic, it's not very complicated. You just lift up on the handle here, gently, and fold it back. And this was a true portable typewriter. All right, let's take a look at it. Obviously, they do not use a universal ribbon. These are really tiny. So you will have to hand wind ribbon on these or you can send us your spools you um it's one of these screw caps so you screw it on make sure it's not screwed too tight or else the um, spool won't turn and so they just lift off and then you wind the ribbon make sure you pay attention to how it's threaded through and your color selector is right here let's take a look at um, the rest of the typewriter so the uh, carriage release right here and this one still has a really nice bell um, there are there is a way to set margins back here but because this is a 1919 I haven't um, messed with it too much I don't want to break it this is going to be your margin release once you do set the margins um, it's such a tiny platen that um, I don't know that you'll really need to do that. But if you wanna mess around with trying to set those, they, you, they just slide and then that's the margin release. This is your paper release. So that releases, you saw the bar moved and it releases the tension on your paper. Okay, so let's do, and um, let's take a look at the keyboard. So the reason it's called a Corona 3 is because it only has three rows. And the way that they are able to do that is there's like three levels to each key. And if you look at the head, I don't know if you can tell, but um, when you get it, the heads are lo longer than most typewriters. And that's because they have three um, symbols per typewriter head. So. If you want lowercase, you just type. If you want uppercase, you press the cap button. And if you want the symbol above it, then you hit the FIG button. This is like a shift lock or just it keeps you from using this FIG button. There you go. So it locks it down in case you just want to use the symbols. So I'll press it back down. Let's see if it does that for the cap. Yep, and it'll hold the cap down too. So this is your shift lock. Okay, so let's go ahead and type and see how it does. Now I've learned that you need to kind of push, not hard, just gently put the paper in until it kind of stops and then turn it. It's right there. So, we want, this is a 1919, your number one is right here. So I'm gonna hit the FIG button for one. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shift lock on. So one, nine, one, nine. Now this is not a Smith Corona, just a Corona because Smith doesn't come along for a while. And you're probably wondering, where's your return handle? It's right here. So you just, um, that takes you to the next line and then you push it over. And here's your space bar. Now, obviously, even though this works, 
this is probably not going to be ideal for somebody who's going to be typing a book um, just due to the delicate nature of a 100 year old typewriter um, this is probably not for your book writing but for letters or poems or nostalgia it's great so let's go ahead and test each button here and it actually types very easily so you probably will want to learn how to set the margins i just don't want to mess with it back there because right now my um, margins are going to be uneven. Oh, I already did that line. Okay, so let's... Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a shift lock on the caps. And let's test out the caps. Your backspace is up here. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna release that and I want to do the FIG and we'll go down. There we go. And let's check all the symbols. Oops, I didn't go down all the way. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so my shift lock was not all the way down, which is why this was happening. But that's good to know. Kind of messed that up for you, but you can see me mess up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the FIG. Let's try locking it. There we go. That felt better. There we go. Okay, I'm going to undo the shift lock. I got to make sure it's all the way down. And I'm going to go ahead and do the quick brown fox. And let me straighten this paper out. Get two keys at once. Sorry, this is going slow. This type, this video is probably a little long, but I'm trying to be gentle with this typewriter. Let's do the caps. Backspace, lazy dog. Okay, nice. Okay, how fun is this? And let me try the red. Okay, ready? Let's do Rudolph. Here we go. Again, don't do two keys at once. cute bell. Okay, here you go. I'll take up close image of this and you can see it on our Etsy shop. But the Corona 3, it works well. Obviously this mess up, I told you what that was. I just didn't have the shift lock down all the way. And the margins, you may or may not want to try to set that. But um, I guess I'm just a little, if I don't own this, I'm a little more careful with it. 
So you, this is a beautiful piece of history. It's a beautiful piece of art and it works. So I know you're going to love it. You can view up close images of it and more details on our Etsy shop. The link is in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have one of these beauties, let me know. I'd love to hear what you do with it and how you're using it or if it's you're just using it as decor. All right. Have a great day.